Oh, okay. That is the steep start. Yeah, so I've tried to ski the chasm twice. It's this insane looking line. It's just like a hole in the mountain or like someone cut a slice out of this solid big rock wall. And I've had to turn back twice because of wind loading in the top. So there has been wind today. We have to see if it's safe because wind loading can lead to avalanches and we don't want that. So fingers crossed it's been protected in there and it's safe to ski because it's one of the better lines around here. And we're starting off by this dam here where they're making the electricity of the goddess here, so. I'll just call him to see how I know my power is coming from here. Hi, Thomas. Hvordan går det? Det går så bra. Frisk luft ute i fjellet. Samme som deg, tenker jeg. Ja, det er deilig. Vi skal ut på tur. Du, jeg står her ved Ellendalen Kraftverk, og så lurer jeg på hvordan vet du egentlig at strømmen i bilen min kommer herfra? Det er et godt spørsmål. I Norge så har vi gått over tusen vannmagasiner som tar smeltevannet da fra snøen som vi driver her i nå. Vi har også kjøpe da opprinnelsessertifikater fra nettopp de vannkraftverkene. Så er du med på å støtte opp under vedlikehold da, dedikert til de. Supert du. Tusen takk. Ha en god tur videre da. Så skal vi komme oss til fjells. Takk det samme. And today we're here with uh, Eivind and Christer. But I've looked at it. It looks crazy scary. How is Ivan today? Ivan is really good. I'm really stoked. Yeah. It's beautiful outside. And now we're here, so it's like a five kilometer approach. And then the cool OR is like 800. Should be a good day. Yeah. Long day. A long day. It always feels weird when you start off with the skis on your pack. Oh, yeah. I think there might be more snow just up the valley. Vaa perkele, tää ei onnistu tänään, ei vittu yhtä, ei saatana. First uh, 20 minutes of the trip when we have a broken ski. Yes, we do. <laughs> so he snapped his ski right here in front of his binding. Annoying. Annoying. Uh, let, let's do this. Yeah. What do you need skis for anyways in the chasm? Okay, well we're like one kilometer in, so we have like four more to go and they're holding together at least. They're just like a bit flappy. <laughs> Hope the snow in there is good. Ay, ay, ay. This wind. Everyone got their skins on, finally. We're, now we're skiing. Yeah, now we're on ski too. Only took us uh, three Ks. But that was the worst boot pack of them. No, 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 that was perfect. And the entrance is right up there. Huge walls. It's a huge wall, yeah. I'm starting to like feel it in my belly a little bit, getting the tingles. But it's good to see the walls here are way wider than yesterday. And yesterday was super good, so. We're gonna be so small when we get into it. Yeah, it's huge. Did you feel that, Krister? What? The wind just stopped. Oh, that's true. We're protected by the wall. We are. And it looks so spooky up there. It's really, really big. They don't call it the small chasm. It's gonna be interesting to see up in the narrow parts. Yeah, I think it's really hard to assess cool ours this far down because there's so much debris always coming through, so you don't really know what the layers are doing. Yeah, and it looks uh, more sheltered. Just to stay on our toes and keep good distance. Yeah. And so it begins. I wonder how it's gonna be like more in the middle. Yeah, there has been wind here for sure. Yeah. We're gonna dig a little pit. So for the uninitiated in the avalanche game, what we're doing is we're trying to see if the snow is stable. We're trying to put pressure on an isolated part of the snow and see what happens to it. So as to know what will happen to all the snow if we ski it or boot in it. If it's unstable, it might kill us. If it's stable, it'll be fun. Still holding, we're still good. Just 10. Do you remember what we had on uh, Surtin? It was like third from the elbow, I think. Oh, fuck. But that was also like, that didn't go. That whole pit where we dug, the snow around it was still there when all the rest of the face came down. So that's the scary thing about the pit, is like you just 
really know what the snow is like here. You don't know what it's like right over there or right up there. Maybe we should do a 930 just to check the, just for the top part. Yeah, let's walk up a little bit so we have a different reference. Yeah. But I mean, it is totally cool to turn around too. Are you feeling like we should turn around? Uh, same here, not yet. Okay. I think we should take another bit at least. We don't want to take any stupid chances, but the snow is not saying no yet. Yeah, how about we walk 100 meters and then do it? Yeah. Don't use both hands. This is the moment of truth. Do we go? Do we back down? The snow will tell us. Try to just break it apart, maybe. See what happens. Oh. That's forcing it out. Yeah. I guess what we've learned from this is that it's fairly stable. Yeah, the top layer is something for itself. Like it's... Yeah, yeah when you're riding. You have some food on your... Like a bit further down, like all the way out there, yeah. From your burrito. Burrito? Yeah. You know what I had in my burrito? There is still there. Take it. Okay, you're good. All right, so the snow said... Let's go! <laughs> now we're on it. Okay. Up we go. It's pretty steep. It's pretty steep, yeah. Yeah, we're right where the slush's gonna go here. Yeah. And this, it's a bit firm on this shoulder here. Yeah, it might uh, be a bit sketchy up there. Pretty far up. Ah, it's really big. How you doing, Evan? I really need to poo. You gonna just go here? Yeah. I don't know where else to go. <laughs> so, uh, Evan, tips for using the great outdoors as a toilet? If you're in deep shit, you can uh, build like uh, handles like this one. So you can just sit like this. It's a good position. I have one extra, and that is when we're in the steeps, make sure to dig a pit so the poop won't fall all the way down and make a brown track because someone might have done that before. I don't know who. <laughs> Not the worst view for a toilet, though. Yeah, I know it's pretty wind fat packed here, too. It'll be interesting for this final steep bit. Are you gonna come to the top, Jonas? I think I will walk a bit down as close to the wall as possible. Yeah, that's a good safe spot. Yeah. Are you warming up for it? Yeah. How are those bowels feeling? Are they moving? Okay, I'm just gonna move up here so I'm not in your way of... Okay, let's start climbing. <laughs> I'm honestly like a bit nervous for this top part. The snow is definitely not perfect. It's a bit foggy, it's super steep, it's narrow. I got oh, stuff management in this one. It's gonna be tricky. Oh shit, here it's hard. I feel bad for Avid now. But he's coming up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, the shit is steep. Yeah. That is the steep start. Dude, good work. Really good to be back out with you. Likewise. <laughs> you're a machine. Yeah, you're killing it. it. Looks like Avon had a successful toilet visit. Good work at the toilet, Avon. I definitely have some like nerves. It's steep, it's variable. Steep? It's really steep. Yeah. I kind of get the creep just like fixing my stuff when it's this deep. I don't want to fall down. Ah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. On, uh, one, two, three, go or one, two, three? One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. I'm last done. Yeah. One, two, three. 
Oh first. shit, I'm first. Now I'm really nervous. Oh, okay. Have fun, you guys. Take care. Yeah, I'll take it easy. Have fun, Nico. Okay, dropping in three, two, one. It's firm. Oh, it feels good. It's firm. I'm down. It's good. Uh, it's left a little bit in the top, and the lower section is really good. Okay, copy that. Just let me know, Jonas, when you are ready. I haven't been that scared in a long time to ride something. No more talking about Dropping in three, two, one. Drop it. It's no mystery. There's no getting around it We light up When we ignite We are stars In a darkened sky When you leave yeah. Don't forget to remember Don't forget to remember Yeah, Christer! Woo! Good work. That was really fun. That was good. That was really that fun. That was good. I'm looking forward to see Avin coming down. Yeah. The young back. My strategy was to go slow. Not take it too fast, just like turn for turn. And that went quite well until I was uh, like in the middle of the couloir and my legs were so done. Come on, Eddie, pick up some speed. Let me see. It's almost like something has happened to his ski. He rides really funny. Maybe his boots. I know he has new boots. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good work, Evan. How are those uh, new boots? My legs are so worked out. <laughs> I'm so done. Oh, good work. I'm going Slow. home, squatting. <laughs> he's he's going to go to the gym. Yeah, this is Jonas. I wonder how it is to ride with one broken ski. Doing uh, better than me. <laughs> good work, Thanks. you killed it. I'm getting my confidence back. Yeah. 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 Aiden, do you do you miss something? No way. <laughs> thank you. No way. <laughs> but dude, Jonas, thank you for a great day. Yeah, that was that's epic. Really good. This is normally the point where I update you guys on how we're doing in our little charitable inequality donation. But I don't think we got anywhere since yesterday, so I'll see you next time. Spiciest line of 2020. I think you can free ride it. Yeah, you probably can. Just depends if you want to. Oh, this is so scary! Shit! <laughs> <laughs>